we look inside the Lenovo ThinkPad R61, this is the inside. I'm changing the uh, processor for a Core 2 Duo. There's the um, there's a CPU there, I think, under that black this black part here. Um, well, there's the heat pipe assembly and the heat sink. Just got to get the bezel off. See, the bezel goes all the way around the outside. Got to figure out which screws to take that off. There's your RAM there. Under the palm rest. Under the trackpad, under the trackpad area. There's the BIOS battery. The yellow thing here. Um, it's either a Northbridge or a Southbridge there, where it says Tel, Tel of the Intel logo. Um, there's the keyboard, my hand, with the ribbon connector. It's there. That is. Put the part numbers off that. There we go. And the barcode. That's that. Do that again just in case I can get it. Okay. And here's the palm rest stroke trackpad. There's the trackpad thing uh, mechanism in there. And there's the connector. It's a very well designed this thing, little sponge block on the top, so you can pull it off and reassemble it more easily. Part number here. gets in the light. It's a funny ink. Let's see if I can get this right. That's better. Do a nice long shot on the embossing. Foxconn made this it looks like. Made in China. 2008. So it's not very old. So there we go. That's the uh, that's the um, palm rest assembly. So what I'll do is I'll get the rest of it apart and show you inside once I've got the uh, CPU area ready to go. Let me show you the lid. That's a ThinkPad R61 8930-48. Sorry, a ThinkPad uh, R61 8930-041. Was A41, A41. Modem, PGA port, Ethernet, mic, speaker, headphone jack, USB one, car bus and PCM CIA, Firewire as well. Gosh, it's got a lot of ports this thing. It's got a card reader there. A multi card reader. DVD writer. Can you see that properly? What I'll do, I'll get the uh, CPU ready to swap and I'll uh, show you inside it again. Thanks guys. There you go, ThinkPad R61. Ready for that CPU upgrade. Bye bye. So that's the uh, heat pipe and uh, cooling fan assembly taken off. There's two vents on this one. That's a Lenovo design, a special fan. They've got the, apparently this is a special uh, design of a fan to do with a, a bird's wing or something. Some uh, Marting stuff like that. I don't think this laptop's ever been used. Um, the heatsink paste is in good condition. It's not baked on. And I'll tell you what, the fan has not got a single bit of dust on it. Not at all. No dust anywhere. And the heatsink vents have got no fluff, no lint, nothing on them. I think this may be a laptop that's been sitting in a cupboard somewhere. Absolutely incredible. But... Um, yeah, there we are, that's that. And uh, there's the CPU, there's the GPU there, here, just there. Uh, CPU, that's in, that's a Celeron M550, which is going to be replaced with the Core 2 Duo T7500. So that's going to come out and be replaced. And once it's all back in place, I'll come back. There you go, guys. See you soon. Bye.
I've now got the uh, keyboard bezel off, this part here. Um, there's some screws. Um, that one. That one. That one. Um, that one. The top. That one there. That one. The very top. Coming out of the, the black plastic. Okay, so basically, there's two more screws. The keyboard bezel. There's one there. And one that side. There. Um, so yeah, and there's more screws here. Uh, sorry, here. Um, there's some. There's a heat pipe assembly. Um, there's four screws in the CPU, which also are joined onto some brackets. These are brackets here. Um, I can't take them off. I can't take them off the sticky tape because they're uh, held in place there to stop the screws being lost. But um, I'll try and film me reassembling it anyway. So yeah, what you do now? You take the fan, the fan uh, plug, which is there. I'll try and do this without damaging it. I'm sure it'll be all right. I have to lift it with my pry tool actually. It's got to swap hands. Excuse me if I have my fingers over the lens. I do apologise. Okay, so I've got a pry, pry tool. Go lift the. No, pry tool doesn't work. So let's use the pry tool to move the cables around. What's going on here? Anyway, that's the fan connector there. You pull it out and then you lift this uh, assembly out, the heat pipe assembly. Basically, by doing this, you pull and it lifts out, you see. Back soon. 